What's up guys, this is Chronic Rush and welcome to episode 30 of my FIFA 14 Road to Gold Around the World series. Welcome back guys. As you can see there, we have 10 players um, who have actually sold in our transfer list. This is the French League 2, just some of the players selling. We've still got quite a few more to sell, but we've got 54k there, uh, which is a fairly solid amount. And uh, we're going to go out and build the French League 1 squad. I was quite excited about this squad because they've got some very, very good cheap players in. Um, but uh, we're going to start off with a goalkeeper under the name of Sirigu, the PSG keeper fairly solid keeper and uh, goes for about 1400 coins i was looking for him in um, the glove chemistry style i do believe and i'm not too sure if i actually do pick him up in that chemistry style i think i just go and pick up a basic normal one for 1500 coins there for an 84 rated keeper very very solid keeper with the glove um uh, chemistry style as well so fairly solid keeper moving on to a right back we're going to pick up mariano this guy used to have four star skill modes i do believe in fifa 13 hours now dropped down but still a fairly solid brazilian right back plays for i believe it is bordeaux um in the french league one obviously and uh, 88 pace again fairly solid um, we're looking for centre backs. I went and first picked up this player here, Nicholas and Kulu, the Marseille centre back. Absolutely tank. Got a team of the season card, I think, last year um, in FIFA 13. And uh, um, he was going for this card price basically, and um, just picked him up for I believe 750 coins there. Decent amount of contracts and stuff like that. I'm just going to apply him in, keeping him on basic because he looks like an all well round solid player. Um, the other centre back was proven to be. Quite tricky in decisions, but uh, again, the search engine is still messed up, and I'm looking for um, the player called Henry Bedimo. Left back plays for Leon, and I was looking for him in the shadow version, but uh, um, that was a bit too expensive, and the same goes with the anchor one. So I just decided to go and pick him up, because obviously I knew he was going for discard price. Uh, probably one of the mo better solid uh, left backs in the league fairly solid pace not too um the there's not too many solid ones you've also got digne the psg left back another choice of player there i'm um, looking for a center mid now like i said we're playing the 4-3-3 second version and uh, we're going to go and pick up a center mid under the name of Jao Moutinho. Recently transferred to AS Monaco from FC Porto. Used him in FIFA 13. Very, very good player and a uh, very, very decent player in this game as well. Um, look for Blaise Matuidi in the CDM role in this formation. Um, pick him up with the powerhouse chemistry style on as well. And moving on to the other center mid, we look for Valbuena, who's typically in a center attack in mid position. Um, but... Uh, <clears throat> So it cost quite a bit to put him down into the centre mid position, but I uh, picked him up for about 2,900 coins, 3k, and I'm um, just going to put him into the team there. I don't think he's got any real chemistry style attribute on him. Looking on to the left mid, we're going to look for Alisson Lini, the, I think it is, um, that I'm not too sure, I think it's Stady Lenners, um, left wing, and um, looking for him in like um, Dead Eye maybe. Not too sure because he's got very, very solid pace, as you can see there. Um, but uh, there wasn't really too many of him. And I knew Deadeye was one of a fairly cheap one. And there was no snipe ones. So I just looked up for the cheapest... Um Alisson Delaney used to be a silver in FIFA 13. Um, used him in that game as well, and uh, he was going for a fairly quite a bit actually. I don't know why he's um, I'm not too sure why he actually went up because um, at the moment he's probably going for about a K. Uh, but I'm not too sure why he went up for about 500 coins. But it doesn't really matter. Pick him up for a decent amount of contracts and put him in that left mid spot. Looking for a right mid uh, wing. Sorry, there is you've got Lucas who I think is actually a typically a right mid, and then you've also got James Rodriguez who um. Uh, not the fastest right mid option, but uh, I decided just to go for him in, I think I picked him up in the Hawk. Um, at first I was going for Hunter just because I wanted a bit more speed on him, um, but I decided just to go pick up the Hawk version of him um, for about 1,400 coins there. Um, so uh, go and put that on there. I'm not too sure what the Hawk actually does off the top of my head. I'm still um, not 100% sure on these chemistry styles. But looking for the striker, got the main man of the team. We have Edison Cavani, the recently transferred PSG striker. Going for about 8.5k there. Um, picked him up for 8.5, like I said. Um, don't think he had, he had the Hawk trait on as well. And um, that, I think that was probably the better way of Hawk again. He's not the fastest. The only thing that really dumbs down, what well, dumbs down, but makes Cavani not the best player is the fact that he's just got high work rates in both defensive and attacking. So he, he like he not, he's not always in the best places at the best time. Go and pick up Thiago Silva. The Brazilian centre back, 87 rated, absolute tank, 80 pace. And I was pretty certain we're going to be keeping quite a few clean sheets with that genius, giant, strong, speedy motherfucker at the back. So I thought we could be fairly sort of the back. Defence, 
fairly pacey across the board. Mariano, 88 pace. Um, and Kulu, 77. Thiago Silva, 80. Bendimo, uh, 81. So we've got some fairly solid pacey um, centre backs. Also some fairly decent chemistry styles on them. But um, we go straight into the first team um, game. And then I remembered I hadn't gone out and picked up the kits or a badge, which I always seem to have to do um, every time I change the league up. But I'll go and pick up that OGC Nice kit. Um, sorry, uh, badge. Just a. It just, I don't know why I picked that one up, um, but uh, looking for kits here, and uh, the French League didn't seem to have too many flareful kits, should I say. Um, I picked up that kit there, put a bit on the Bordeaux away kit, nice pink, um, purplish, whitish um, kit there, looks fairly solid. And also looking for another kit here, and I couldn't really find one until I came across, I do believe, um, I think it is the Lille away, well, third kit, it's black with that, that one there, you just saw whip past the screen. Looking for a decent amount, 200 by now, there you go, go and put that on there, nice, nice kit indeed, and uh, just checking on the kit we just bidded on, there you go, that looks like a fairly solid kit as well, um, so we've got badge kit, and also we can go and pick up a stadium now, being that the fact that um, there's quite a few stadiums on this game from the French League one, look for the puck. Del Princes, the PSG Stadium, I do believe that is. Put a bid on it, wait for it to um, tick down, and uh, there you go. Uh, go and apply that one. So, um, it'll be nice. Move into a new stadium. Everything's going to be nice and good. Um, and we're going to go into the first game of this episode with the French League 1 squad. Come up against this player here. Got a Brazilian squad. Some fairly pacey players indeed up front, especially a Hulk and stuff like that. But uh, that has got to be the most boring game I've ever ever played. Um, sorry for this is like a bit sped up because um, I just wanted to show you, as you can see there, the stats. I, it was just a, a, such an even game and just so boring. Um, I was just getting used to the game. Um, I didn't feel like I had too much of attack and that's mainly because of Cavani's high defensive work rate. He just sometimes, if he comes back to try and get the ball, he'll just stay there and, and never normally moves too far forward. Come against a Bundesliga squad team here you see on and a nice, nice free ball from Cavani into um, Alisson Deleen's Alisson Delaney there, but uh, finesses that shot and the keeper saves it to put it out for a corner. I'm going to whip this corner in from James Rodriguez. And um, I believe it is Blaise Matuidi. Um, it's not... Whoa, whoa, nothing. Um, he's going to throw this ball out here and um, he's going to go on the break here from the corner. Nice tackle from Enkulu, picking that ball up. James Rodriguez over the top ball into Blaise Matuidi. And uh, he's going to go and finish that for the first goal of this French League 1 squad. Going to our CDM, which is kind of a surprise. Um, but uh, you don't always see CDMs do. Going on a nice run from Cavani. Nearly got right the way through there. Um, unfortunately, I didn't. I always seem to run into trouble when I get to about that stage. Maybe he should just go for an absolute blast. But uh, he's going to pick this ball up. Nice tackle for Val Buena, but it falls to Mikaterian here. And uh, he does some nice work. Finds a free ball into Juve, and he does some nice work again. Nice, nice tackle for my play and uh, Bad, bad clearance from Mariano. Really, really should have done better there. Elliot is just absolutely manoeuvring around my defence and drills that into the top right corner to make that 1-1 in the 31st minute. Lovely 1-2 there between Cavani and Alessandrini. Sets Alessandrini on free and he's going to should go and score that. But it comes off the post and uh, that was fairly, fairly frustrating indeed. Um, really, really should have scored that one. I'm normally quite good at scoring goals and putting them away, but uh, that wasn't the case. And uh, But we're going to pick up a ball here. Um, goes through the legs of the player. Falls to Cavani. He's going to go and get his first for this team uh, to make it 2-1 just before half time, I do believe. Move into the 50-odd minute here in the second half. James Rodriguez, some nice work down the right-hand side. Finds a through ball in to, I believe that was Mariano or uh, Matuidi, but he's going to go on the counter-attack here. And um, Mkhitaryan here, Thiago Silva doing some fantastic work to bully that ball back in. Pass it to Bendimo, Bendino to Matuidi, who miscontrols that over the top ball into Mkhitaryan and over the top into Juve. And a lovely, lovely save from my keeper, but he's going to put that across the goal and it's going to fall straight to his Mkhitaryan, I do believe that is coming off the woodwork before entering Mkhitaryan's head to go into the goal to make that 2-2. Then move to the 78th minute here, Cavani again at the centre of all the plays, um, doing some nice work up there. We retain possession here again. Jaume Moutinho setting himself up for the shot, goes for the shot and trickles through. Unfortunately, that doesn't finish and the keeper makes a double save but falls straight out to the path of Valbuena there to make that 3-2 in the 81st minute, leading us to the first victory of this squad. So we've got four points in total now and hopefully we should go and get promoted and um, everything would be all good after the fairly poor 
um, French League 2 squad. Going to apply some consumables onto Valbuena. And uh, going to this game, latency was on a red bar. So I decided just to leave that. Find another game. Come against a loud rooks and magic. Come up against a steady ass squad here. El Shari, Di Natale, Sal Javienko. Pirlo, some very nice players in D. El Melo sets a through ball into El Shawari here down the middle. And um, Inkulu just covering the crossing. I'm not trying to get him to cross it in. Uh, but uh, it does eventually fall to him. And uh, it falls to D. Sal, sorry, to put that in in the fifth minute to make that 1 0. Over the top ball into his player. Um, sorry, into my player. And uh, he clears that straight out to the path of Mariano. Passes that into Cavani. Again, setting up Valbuena here to go and make that 1 1 in the 13th minute there. Um, very, very nice worked goal there. Quick one-twos in the box to break Valbuena free. They move just before half-time. And this is Giovinco sprinting down the right-hand side. Jao Moutinho can't keep up him. Swings that ball into Sal, who I believe is probably one of the smaller players on the pitch. And uh, somehow gets that header. But that was fairly frustrating. But that made it 2-1. Sal seems to be the enemy of this squad. Um, some FIFA's is Beckford and stuff like that. But Sal just seems to be the one that just absolutely destroys me. Need to use him in my Celtic ass squad when I get there. But uh, we move to the 54th minute here, and he's going to be passing this ball around. Um, just maintaining possession, and um, unfortunately, we didn't pick the ball up there. Pirlo picks up this ball, and I, was, I, was, I wasn't thinking of him to shoot. Uh, I thought I could close him down, but that's a very, very nice shot from Underlet Pirlo there to make that 3-1. A nice through ball into Di Natale, and um, keeper comes out. He takes it past the keeper. Uh, plays that back into De Rossi here. And uh, this guy seemed to keep possession extremely well. De Rossi there. Keeper saves it onto the post and uh, not too sure what the keeper was doing there, but that made it 4-1, which wasn't the best. And then this topped it all off. Alisson Delaney picking up the second yellow card of the game to get himself a red there. Um, so we, we got 10 men, 4-1 down. And then I keeper just passes straight out to his player. And Di Natale steals it from the keeper to make that 5-1 in the 90th minute. Leading to our first loss with this French League 1 squad, which wasn't the best. And um, this guy just seemed to keep possession extremely well. And I just couldn't get the ball from him. But guys, this has come to the end of the episode. If you like someone hit that button. Also remember to subscribe to stay tuned to this video. And any feedback in the comments would be much appreciated, guys. This has been Crunch Rush. Till next time. Adios.